Hello, my name is Lindsay Duran. I am a movie producer and a story consultant, and I've done three talks in the last year that were sponsored by The Blacklist, so I think I can count myself, luckily, as a, an official friend of The Blacklist. Franklin Leonard told me that uh, I was going to get the opportunity to announce the name of one of the screenplays that's on the list for 2014, but he also encouraged me to say something about writing ahead of time, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to read two quotes to you that are among my favorite quotes about writing. The first one is from Franz Kafka. Here's what he said. We ought to read only books that bite and sting us. If the book we are reading doesn't shake us awake like a blow to the skull, why bother reading it in the first place? What we need are books that hit us like a most painful misfortune, like the death of someone we loved more than we love ourselves. A book must be the axe for the frozen sea within us. So that's a very specific point of view. Um, here's another point of view from the playwright Alan Bennett, who wrote The History Boys and a lot of other wonderful things. And this is what he says, the best moments in reading are when you come across something, a thought, a feeling, a way of looking at things, which you had thought special and particular to you. And now here it is, set down by someone else, a person you have never met, someone even who is long dead, and it is as if a hand has come out and taken yours. These are very different ways of thinking about writing. Um, but I read them because I want to encourage you, no matter what kind of writing you do, um, whether it's the, the axe that breaks up the frozen sea within us kind, or the hand that reaches out to take the hand of the reader kind, that whatever you do, you try to have that kind of impact on your reader. You'll hear an awful lot about high concept movies, and of course it's great to have a short, pithy concept that everybody gets, and it could be Kindergarten Cop, or Beverly Hills Cop, or Mall Cop, or Let's Be Cops, or all kinds of movies that have nothing to do with cops, and that's a great thing to have if you've got it. But make sure whether you have that or not, you're making an impact on whoever is reading it. Make sure that if it's a comedy, it's hilarious. Make sure that if it's a love story, I feel like I'm going to die if those two people don't get together. Make sure that if it's a thriller, it contains actual thrills. Make sure that if it's a sci-fi epic, it's full of epic emotions as well as epic action. So that's what I want to get across to you today. Um, and now it is my pleasure to announce that one of the screenplays on the 2014 Blacklist is Plus One by April Prosser. And here is the logline. Just out of a long-term relationship and realizing that all her friends have married, Rachel discovers that her only remaining wing woman is Summer, a loud and oversharing wild card. So congratulations to April and congratulations to Franklin Leonard and the Blacklist on their 10th anniversary 2014 list. Thanks very much.